Well, hello again, folks, and welcome to my Shell Buzzy on Buzzyman blog. And today we're going to teach you all about, uh, well, fireplaces. You know, it's unbelievable the number of all wood or fossil burning fuel fireplaces that are still today in homes and being used. Oh yes, I know there's lots of natural gas and there's propane and there's pellets and all and electric and all the rest of them. But there's still a lot of wood being used uh, to uh, to heat up your home or to give you that uh, that ambience, that feeling of warmth and coziness. Well, I get a lot of calls from people that are talking about their fireplace, and the reason why they're talking about their fireplace is because the fireplace facing, let's just draw an opening here in the fireplace, and then we'll make this look like a, a log, uh, um, well, let's put a log box in there. So that's a bunch of logs piled right next to the firebox. And uh, let's put a cradle in here in the fireplace. And we'll put a dotted line which goes up the chimney. Okay, that's your chimney flue. And here on the rest of the fireplace, it may be brick, it may be stone, it may be uh, uh, manufactured stone, or whatever. And have a beautiful mantle with the picture of uh, uh, mom and dad. Okay? Like so. Now, what's happening? I get the call when you get that staining. That staining on the front of the fireplace that's caused from improper venting or chimney venting of that fireplace. Now, improper venting could be dangerous. And again, something that carbon monoxide is one that worries me a lot when you know it's there if you go to bed and leave a smoldering fire. A smoldering fire in a fireplace is uncontrollable. Just with a, uh, a damper control inside that sometimes is uh, controlled by a handle inside or it may be by a chain coming out of the upper portion of the firebox. All this staining is from the smoke or residual from the burn. Why it does that is because you'll have a day that may be cloudy, damp, uh, cold, and all that low pressure pushing down when you go to bed at night, outside pressure pushing down. I'll use blue there. That pressure blowing down. It's not really blowing down. It's because inside your home has become a negative imbalance. So therefore, you might have a shower and you've got an exhaust fan on in the bathroom. You may have a load in the dryer and the dryer is exhausting. You may be on your um, in-wall vacuum cleaning uh, machine and you're vacuuming the floors and the canister for the vacuums out in the garage. All that's air that's exiting the home. Where do you think the air comes from? to replace it. As soon as that burn slows down, it starts using the chimney as a makeup air vent. So that air is coming down and coming out into the room and that's very liable to be carbon monoxide. Have a carbon monoxide detection device in your home, please, with new batteries and new batteries. If you have to do it, do it every summer and every winter, twice a year. Normally take a 9-volt battery. The staining on the front can be removed easily. People will try everything from vinegar to solvents, and you shouldn't use anything unless it's water-based. And you can use my Shell Buzzy cleaning formula. In fact, I got a bottle of it right here. I'll show it to you. There it is right there. And it's available at stores. Just ask for it. Shell Buzzy's cleaning formula. And the most important thing is when you're applying it, you apply it with a, a sponge. Make it good and wet. Make that uh, brick wet. Make the stone wet, whatever it happens to be. And once it's uh, nice and damp and sudsy, just scrub it with a brush. 
and take an old towel, wring it out, and blot it. And your facing will come up clean as clean can be. And then you may want to put a water-based uh, sealer on the, uh, the brick or the block or the stone or whatever it happens to be. Easier to wash, easier to clean. But we're hoping you're not going to have that problem in the future. Because what you can do, you can put a vent in the floor right out in front of the fireplace. Down in the basement, that will go to the outside wall with a hood on the outside wall just like you'd have a dryer, and let it draw air in, up into the firebox, and up the chimney it goes. you got that improper negative imbalance now being balanced by positive movement of air being allowed to come into the home, but not being drawn down through a chimney. It's easy access for air, and least line of resistance is when you're going to have a good, clean operational wood burning or fossil burning fuel fireplace. Some people will even put the vent right in the back of the firebox, right inside the firebox to the outside wall, depending on the, if it's an outside wall or not. But folks, cleaning the fireplace facing, correcting combustible air and incoming air through negative imbalance is so important. If in doubt, don't pout. Let Shell help you out. I'm here on the On Buzzyman blog to help you. We don't want any disaster. And there's so many new home buyers that have no idea how the house works. And it has a process. It's not like a car. Buy a new car, put the key in, and away you go. Everything's taken care of for you. All the internal combustion, all that is all taken care of for you inside the uh, cavity in the air when you, where you're driving, nice and clean. You can open a window or you've got ventilation taking place at all times automatically. But fireplaces that burn inside the home have got to have oxygen. And if they don't have oxygen, then they're going to smolder down and they're starting to draw air back in the home. And the first indication you'll get of it is that smell of soot. You'll smell the soot that's built up in the chimney. It's just that easy. The how to the what to the where to the why to the when to the who to, folks. Always here on my Shell Buzzy, on Buzzyman blog. Any questions you have, you know you can email. Go to my website, askshell.com. There it goes right across your screen. It's just that easy. Talk to you next time. Bye-bye for now.